Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It is episode 34. <laughs> Sorry, I had to peek at my uh, run sheet there real quick. It's episode 34, and we're continuing our playthrough of Chrono Trigger. If you remember from the last episode, we had begun our assault on the Tyranno Lair, and we freed the villagers. We've been making our way through the castle, and um, we shall see what is next. Let's uh, run through the big mouth. And that was probably all I needed to do to open up the big central bit. Except now we get to do some more fighting. Alright. Ride the lightning. Oop. Uh, I... Yeah, let's drop him off like that. Call that done. I guess a regular attack would have worked. I, I kind of expected the bird creature to not die in that first assault. But I'll take it. Alright. Now I am getting a little worried about uh, magic points being left behind. Alright. Come on, people. Um... Get these guys knocked out real quick. Seriously, they're not dead yet. All right, there we go. I mean, on the plus side, we are earning XP. I'm not too worried about leveling out of where I want to because I'm right now. <laughs> Right now I'm at level 35 and it's going to take me another 86,666 XP uh, to get to level 36, so I, I think I'm safe for just a little bit. Guys, seriously. This is not going to go well. Gone. Although I am happy for the potions. I kind of need a few more ethers. Alright, let's see if I can do this very carefully. There we go. And let's go to the inventory. Let's um, burn a shelter real quick. So we can get everybody's magic points up. And let's go ahead and get a save in real quick. Okay. Oh. I didn't realize he was going to just let us go through anyway. Oh. <laughs> I guess it couldn't have been that easy. Uh, we get to fight Nisbel again. Hold it. When I said she's through here, I meant you got to get through me first. What do you think I've flexed my muxels and looking all intimidating for? Fine. You want it like this? We can do it like this. All right, let's do uh, Thunder Chomp. I'm actually just going to keep Frog on hold, I think. <laughs> Defense lowered by electric shock. Okay. All right, let's throw this at him. Bam. Oh, that's not nearly as much as uh, I would have expected. Thunder Chomp. Throw some water too at it then. Bam. Lowered his defense. Oh, I would have expected that. Ah. Hmm. I expected that to go better too. All right, back to that, and instead, I'll just have him do a... Ooh. 
I thought Cure 2 was a group cure. I must be going senile. No comments. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Throwing back a little bit of what he already got. So we'll do our Thunder Chomp and we'll do heal and get everybody tapped back up. Especially since everybody's looking a little bit lower than I would have wanted. I need to keep a closer eye on everybody's hit points. So um, that's going to be Frog's role for the next little while is to toss some of those moderate heals back in. Oof. Alright, combo, and heal. Hopefully that save point will come back up and we can burn another shelter to uh, top off before we get to the big boss fight. That should be coming up pretty quick. There we go. That's the kind of hits I want to do. Alright. That's it? 15 tech points? Alright. A couple people got some levels up, so I guess I'm not going to complain too, too much. Alright, and let's go ahead and inventory. Shelter. And save. Because <laughs> we don't want to do that again. And on we go. Come on, guys. Seriously? One of you? Oh, okay. Maybe some regular attacks will get this finished off pretty quick, because he should die pretty soon. There we go. Sweet. Alright, ten tech points and some feathers and stuff. We're actually tapped out on those as far as inventory goes. So, uh, I'm not too worried about that. Kill him! Stab him with the pointy end. Put him on a stick. Uh... Alright, that's probably the door I want. Those two probably do stuff I don't want. Yeah. Okay. No. Oh, come on. Let's just hit him with a regular lightning. He's shocked. And gone. Oh, for the love of Pete. Alright, well, lightning them both. <laughs> Look, I just need to get to your boss and, uh, you know, we, we need to have words. Sure, those words might be punctuated by a lightning bolt, but, uh... Alright. Yeah, now we're getting close to... Here we go. Uh-oh. At last, the final confrontation. It was but a matter of time. Excuse me for a second. I can't get rid of that on or hang on. Um Let me go here. And then back here. And that should there we go. That clears that junk out. Alright. It was but a matter of time. It's the final countdown. <laughs> Will it be we reptites who inherit the earth or you soft skinned apes? 
Strong live, weak die, Ayla just fight. I don't know why she has such a deep voice. Hear that lovely voice? You'll soon be hearing more of it than you'd ever wish. Oh, you're just gonna bravely run away? Alright, there's a mid either. And a tricer. Ooh, um. Let's go ahead. 29, 125. He could benefit better from that right there. Uh oh. Alright, big fight on the bridge. <laughs> uh, hmm. Something about a red star. Fall, why don't you? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Stay in the earth red? Well, that can't be good. Alright, even should approve our fate to die, we will not relinquish this world to the likes of you. This black tyranno will have the honor of wiping you filthy apes from existence forever. <laughs> Looks kind of like a black lab, actually. But <laughs> Alright. Let's uh, open this up with the big hits. Actually, I probably should have done the Volt Bite, to be honest, but... Uh... Hmm. Arm before uh, I forget. Because if I remember, one of these guys has... Yep, he's got a magic capsule. And the Black Tyranno's got something else. Okay. Then let's go ahead and charm that guy. We'll do the big lightning attack again. And let's go ahead and... Uh, do a cure two on frog since he's looking a little low. Uh-oh. And now Azela is gone? I didn't even notice. Did Ayla's charm succeed? I was too busy focusing on other things. Okay. Lowers defense and starts storing power, huh? Alright. Then let's go ahead and do a falcon strike and an aerial strike. Because at this point, when you see that message, he is re he is weak to physical attacks. So we're going to hit him with the highest uh, damage physical attacks we can. Although, a triple attack would have been better. Um, that comes from not grinding. But this should get us pretty quick before too long. Matter of fact, what, uh... Nah. Because all the frog stuff is water magic, and he is weaker to physical attacks than water magic. Which is why we're sticking with those instead of doing the frog squish. Because if I remember right, the frog squish is nothing but a uh, water magic bit. Crank through those magic points. Well, I have a funny feeling Frog's about to be using use, <laughs> using some of his healing now. Oh yeah, except for the part, part that that's all uh, fire attacks and we got the uh, fire reduction from the ruby armor. Alright, so Falcon Strike and Heal. Well, the Chrono's looking a little bit lower. Probably ought to do another big heal on him. Oh, maybe not a big heal. Oh, 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 I just noticed that Ayla was... Uh, because she got slurped up by that thing. 
Ah. Alright. I'll get it. Let's go around. And cure two. Halo. Alright. Ooh, that's not doing as much damage as it did before. Oh, there we go. That's the message I was looking for. Should have been doing the regular attacks when I, after that uh, fire breath, and waited till he said the lower defense, etc., etc. Short-term memory, something or other. Oh, <laughs> doesn't matter. There he goes. He did. Oh, Chrono got a level out of that. Um, <laughs> oops. Guess I do need to be a little bit more mindful of that, huh? Crawl like the lizard you are. No, it can't be. Could the heavens truly have sided with the apes? Listen, primates, and let it be known for all time. We reptites fought proudly to the bitter end and made a nice handbag. Hey, let know. Um, alright guys, time to beat feet. First, a great fiery stone will crash to the earth. Its flames will soon spread to scorch every corner of the land. Then the chill will begin to creep across the blackened plains, ushering in a long, cruel age of ice and snow. Ha ha ha, a fitting end to our age indeed. Ma ha ha ha, maniacal laugh. Oh wait. Lavos is oh so this is where Lavos comes from he isn't created anywhere on earth he isn't summoned by anybody on earth he crashes to earth in the distant distant past Boom. Ayla people word. La means fire. Vos means big. So, La Vos is just a big fire. Yeah, hop on the birds. Get out of here. Get to the flying chicken. Sorry, Lavos fall soon. All right, Dactyl. Um, uh, you trying to save Azela? No, oh, no, no. This is the will of the Earth. No, not so much the will of the Earth. Is it? <laughs> Take care of this world. Aww. Oop. Boom. Uh oh. The Lavos has fallen. Frog states the obvious. Lavos was not spawned by Magus. It fell from the heavens and so long ago. Are those three dots us or are those magic tabs I can pick up? <laughs> Lavos huge. Chrono fight that? Not just yet. Chrono. We go place Lavos fall. Left to its own devices, the creature will burrow deep into the earth. Best to defeat it now. I mean, technically, if you wanted to, you could fight now. Um, it would give you an interesting ending, too. A gate? This 
What's this? There's something in the ground. Lavos fast. Deep under earth now. <laughs> Might Lavos be the source of these? That one in Magnus's keep was immense. What wrong, Chrono? Want to fight Lavos? Go here? No? All right. Uh, what I want is a party lineup change. I'd like somebody that can speak in full sentences. And with a different type of magic. And away we go. Through the trippy time portal. And into a cave. Yeah, it was the nearest gate to Lavos after all. I have no idea where we are. To where have we come? To where have we come? You'll find out in the next episode. <laughs> Thank you for joining along so far. If you're watching live on Twitch or Mixer, hang tight. There's still more to come. If you want to watch live, I stream on Thursdays at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. There's a link in the description below. If you haven't already, follow in Twitch or Mixer to get notified when I go live. And definitely subscribe to the YouTube channel. It helps the channel out and you'll get notified when new episodes and other content get posted. So live folks, give me a minute to prep the next episode. YouTube folks, I'll see you tomorrow.